After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro-san. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had faces in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance, he would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you, but I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly, if that's possible. Of course! After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. If you need us, our door is wide open for you. Second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You won't repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line. Arakawa fucked up. His captain should be on his knees right now. <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? You know, 
Guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead. And you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak. And that goes for all of you! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support, Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make you a move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yellow shit. That's your phone. This is Hoshino. Chairman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but right now I... Just be there. Fine. I'll be waiting. Chairman Hoshino wants to meet? Yeah, at Heian Tower. 
Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. Oh, man, this story gets so good. Alright, I guess we're gonna start wandering to Hyun Tower. Oh, there's a taxi right here. I also see there's more, uh, finally more, the, uh, Part-time heroes showed up. I'll do this later off-screen. I don't think you will watch me do that. Yeah, this isn't the time to side content. It's like, yeah. What would it be like if, yeah, just, no, just do it. And this is one of those moments where you do not do side content. You just go. This, it's the story that all that matters right now while you're still feeling everything that's happening. Nope. Two seconds. No, don't fight me. We got more story. I want you to know. Last night, Arakawa seemed at peace. Like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then his father was killed, and he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. Huh? After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it, he'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complain the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think it's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Aoki. No. The young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to. Kasuga, you should take revenge for Arakawa. I can lend you men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. 
I'm sure of that. Then what will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think you wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable. Not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga. Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. I assure you it did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> it's all good. I think I've got something figured out. You could pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still, going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. At the very least, they'll bring your body back. I appreciate the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. Well, at least he's smiling again. Oh, jeez. You waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. Sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway... How about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. I want to meet with Aoki. And Kume's got the hookup, seeing as he's Ogasawara's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Uh, sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, the guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. No search required. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. Man, do you oh, know we everything? Oh, don't have a political candidate yet. The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? Do you know where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Kume's district, Kanagawa's second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isazaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road then. I can already see all the Bleach Japan people protecting him, so that's not going to be fun. Okay. Isazaki Road, right there. No side quests? We're good. We can head right there. In fact, I'm gonna take a taxi. Um, that taxi seems close. But yeah, easy like a road entrance. Works well for me. Uh, save. It's the wise thing to do. You know what, game? You are right. Uh, let me save here. Yep, there he is. Will the crime lords cackle with glee? Virtuous law-abiding citizens are cowering in fear! What's become of our once great nation? When did morality become the butt of the joke? I alone 
can deliver this country back into the hands of her upstanding citizenry. I am Suta Kume, and a vote for me is a vote for change! Damn. After all we've been through, I'm actually starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on Bleach Japan Jungle Juice, that kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way, Kume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. Hmm. Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's get him. Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us... Wait. Don't I know you? The guy in the parking lot. Yeah. With a Kanzai He was a in the parking lot. He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. Well, look at that. You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot. Bring it on. All right. Let's have a nice battle to get the depression of losing our house on, shall we? I should have aimed that better. Why did I do it like that? Ah, no, we still got everybody. Okay. You're in for it now. fun with this. You can win. Cool. Check this out. I need to know what this is. <laughs> oh, it's an amazing move. Holy cow. Ooh, we're getting some good resources. Hell yeah. Maybe I can make another weapon like the guitar, which I have underestimated. Nice. It's really good. Nice, nice, nice. Everyone leveling up. And bye, Kumi. <laughs> Thought you could interfere, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. Even with the alliance to the Omi disabled or disbanded, they're all still loyal. More Omi boys than I can count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead. Yeah, I like shitting in private. <laughs> I certainly am. I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no place for schoolyard debates. <laughs> Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that, Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. 
That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that in fact prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamurucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. Hmm, there's a lot of asshole energy coming from there. This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election, after all but pulling the trigger himself. It's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Chairman? So, you figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? I forgot to give you something back at Heian Tower. Huh? Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? The task I... Find a political candidate. Oh! Finding a candidate! Yes. Remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Well, I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden, it hit me. Yeah? Lay it on me. Kasuga, you should run. What? I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second, back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Well, the money doesn't matter. It does to me! <laughs> three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I I'm not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. And when they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to them. So if I run in the election, I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody, what they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly. Public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? 
This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Three million yen stepping stone. Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time for murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? Mm. I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then I'll do it. Seriously? Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane, but... Then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry. Let's run! Wait, you lost the money. Where's the election office anyway? In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks! I hope you all enjoyed the RPG. Now we're playing Political Simulator. Oh. Co cooperation request. Thanks to my connections, now has the privilege to send some real tough boys to those... Uh... I don't know... I have no idea. Uh, I could technically run there. Or I could just take a taxi. Also, one second, smartphone. No, not you, not you. New arrival. Oh. oh, you! I'm I'm actually there. I could see what they got. All right, one second. I think they have the thing I want. So I could have bought a few things that cost quite a bit. They have really good items there. But I remember my other playthrough. I remember. The because I actually remember what this was. I used the Tojo Clan Crest at the end of the game because there's a few things you can get that are amazing. Oh yeah. You can get the summons. Oh. Oh, goodbye Tojo Clan Crest. Alright. He is a pound mate. He is expensive. I think he's a mill each time you summon him. <laughs> okay. Alright, we got him. Uh, we'll get the other one after. There's also others, but we're gonna worry about that later. Alright, we need to hurry up. Come on, guys. We're quitting the Yakuza business. We're quitting the RPG. We're now playing Political Candidate Simulator. Japanese political candidate simulator. Uh, three thousand, three million yen, just to shake hands. <laughs> three million yen. I heard that. Goodbye. I'm, I'm gonna miss you, money. <sighs> that was exhausting. If I have to sign one more form, I swear. Never imagined there'd be that many. Well, of course. You're not exactly running for a student council. I'm just glad we've made it in time. Hey. Do you see that guy's face? He was about to snap. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody likes last minute arrival. It worked out, thankfully. Don't act like it's over. The paperwork is just the beginning. Tomorrow, we hit the campaign trail. If I'm only running to get close to Kume, I don't actually have to campaign, do I? Not gonna happen. You do, actually. If Kume and the rest of society don't recognize you as a candidate, the plan will fall apart. Bleh. She's right. <sighs> How am I supposed to even campaign, though? I don't have an electric, uh, election van or even a megaphone. Well, you better figure it out. I'm with Sajan. You gotta take this seriously. Eh, we'll figure out tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Tomorrow. Of course.
course. And there shouldn't be any quests. Honestly, this is the brust thing about the, a really smart thing about the game is. Yeah, sure, you can do all the side quests, but during this period of the game, they don't lay any on you, which is kind of smart, especially with the arkawa san bit and all that. It's like, I would not have... It's not like he's depressed and all that, and then immediately, oh, yeah, let's uh, just do some side quests. Alright, um, that's all the mysterious fruit I am planting. That is all. I'm actually going to now plant, uh, not Dakin's, I'm going to do some potatoes. No nutrients. I'm actually going to buy some more nutrients later. And I'm going to plant a tomato. We'll do tomato and a potato. Alright. Uh-oh. Hmm? What's this? <sighs> Who may have been kicking the campaign up a notch? Guess they already found out I'm running. Saves me the trouble of having a campaign strategy. You think this is good? Now the whole town's gonna know your criminal record. Don't worry about it, man. I wasn't planning on hiding the truth anyways. <laughs> I see they already have you in their sights. <laughs> Takaba san? Our chairman would like have would like you to have something. Chairman Hoshino? What will that be? This beauty. No car we're using to sell things out of, but as you but you can use it as your electric man huh? electric man. For real? We even gave it a microphone loudspeaker. Dug at one of those our strip club's warehouse. This should give you at least the bare minimum of legitimacy. Kume can't run from you now. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> How it's talking. Take care. Well then, shall we pay Kume a visit? He's scheduled to give a speech at Hamakita Park today. <laughs> nice. This time we'll corner and make him take us to the young master. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Three million yen to shake a hand. Oh, you can't just give me the money back and then be like, psych! Well, let's just get in the car and roll over the Hamakita Park when you're ready. I used to do a good voice for him, but... Man, you take a break from the game and then... Okay, so 15 is the final chapter. Got it. Right, save over the end of Yakuza. Let me see. We are good to go. Alright, everyone, time to campaign. Bull politics. Woo! The best thing ever. Alright. Elections are the cornerstone of a just and fair democracy for all. Running for office as a publicity stunt is trembling all over that. And yet, Ichiban Katsuga, an ex-Yakuza who served 18 years in prison for murder, has for his own personal gain decided to take this sacred election with his candidacy. It's a sick joke. Listen to that. Sounds like he got the jump on you. Uh, you think? Strange that his campaign caught wind of the plan. But they're definitely trying to ensure you won't ever get near him. How? The whole reason Kume would have been obligated to shake your hand was because you were going to be the brave, noble underdog. But now he's trying to paint you as a villain, so he won't need to show you any respect. Oh, I get it. Well then, you know what? It's time to clear my name. I mean, technically, he did go to jail for 18 years for murder. Technically. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Hey, there he is. Turn the cameras on him. Seriously? A murderer? Running for office? Can you believe it? It's ridiculous. You heard it. He's a murderer. I gotta hand it to my opponent here. He 
He's such a generous guy. He's basically advertising for me. A total unknown. Can't wait to check my campaign's followers after this. I hate to say it, this Thank is not going to help so you. Much, Kume -san. This is exactly what I was talking about, folks. He's got nothing but sarcasm and one-liners. Why won't this ex-convict take our democracy seriously? Ex-convict? You trying to say someone who broke the law can't run? That I've lost the right? Naturally. Well, it's true. I was in prison for 18 years. But the law says anyone can run, no matter what crimes they've committed. I'm standing here because my application was accepted. If you deny my right to run, then who's really disrespecting the law here? That be you, right, Mr. Law and Order? I, uh, never said... I never said anything about the law. Oh, so you're admitting the laws aren't always so perfect. I, well, in this case, it's strange, isn't it? Bleach Japan loves going around telling the rest of us to follow the law. But how do we follow laws that aren't just? Isn't that kind of a paradox? Well, laws are what you need to... Are you asking all these fine people to just accept that paradox? In this case, we must! I see. Well, that sounds like a gray zone to me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kume-san, people don't want to break the law. They really don't. But just like the law ain't perfect, neither are humans. They both exist in gray zones. Part good, part bad. <laughs> I mean, just one little mistake can send you down a slippery slope. It happened to me. I made a mistake that led me to this city. Luckily, I was rescued from that mistake, but not by the law. I was rescued by the people who live in the gray zones. And man, they didn't ask for that life. They got the raw end of a deal. They were never given a real choice. They want to be proud, hard-working members of society, as much as anyone in this crowd. They know the law is important. I do too. But we also know some things are more important. <laughs> people don't exist to serve the law. The law exists to serve the people. We ought to remember the words in that order. Don't you think, Kume-san? Kasuga knows what he's talking about. He's got my vote. Yeah, I like it. Go Ichiban! He's telling it like it is. Give him hell, Ichiban. We're with you. Where do I donate to Team Kasuga? Screw that Kume guy. He's elitist. Kume-san, <laughs> I think we can have a healthy debate in this campaign. Let's do this election fair and square. Why don't I come over there so we can shake on it? Yeah? Retreat! Retreat! Wait, what's the problem? Kume-san, you were in the middle of your speech! Wait, Kume-san! Hmm. In a strange turn, this impromptu debate has ended with Kume, the front-runner, making a quick retreat. Oh, that's the former Yakuza oh, and spelling go. candidate Ichiban Kasuga has been generating buzz on social media. Useless! Kume, the staff, and even you are all useless! The only reason this happened is because you neglected to take it seriously. Enlighten me, Sawashiro. Why are you acting so strange? Got something to report? For now, we've decided to reorganize under a provisional name. The Tokyo Omi Alliance. We have sufficient manpower and resources. So I'll be assigning titles to... I'm sorry, are you under the impression you're the chairman or something? Huh? No. You had power in the Arakawa family. But I can assure you, it wasn't because you were competent. Kiss enough ass, anyone can get a promotion like you did. You haven't had a spine since the days when you were following me around like a lost dog. I hate to say he killed a man by poking his eye out with his thumb. 
I've taken pity on you because we had a history. But enough is enough. The new Tokyo Omi Alliance needs a chairman who understands how to wield power. Well, that's what I am. <sighs> a bold claim. I'll give you 24 hours to prove it by killing this man. What? If you fail, well, I assume you know the consequences. I love how Sarashiro sits back and takes everything Aoki throws at him. Meanwhile, one guy says bad thing yep. about him and he immediately just kills him. Kume should be giving a speech in front of Janai Station today. <laughs> Alright, today's the day we get him for sure. What's up? Shouldn't we leave the van behind though? If he realized we're coming here, cut his speech short and bail. Good point. Let's go on foot so we don't stand out. Alright. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, I can just run this time. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna need more of these because, yep. And do you sell gold keys? You don't say. You'll see. Gold key, gold key. No, nope, that's in the other shop. Arigato, no? Damn. Ah, oh, well, I'll live. <laughs> Wait. It just hit me. You! That's where the shop is. Hey, where do you think you're going? You want me to let you in? Like a dog scratching and begging his master, let him in the house before he freezes to death. I suggest you learn what's good for you and get lost. What's up here? Hey. Hey, what's back there anyway? Uh, well, shit. Most people who try asking Anarchy a question end up fumbling their words and leaving disgrace, but you, you got confidence, brother. That, uh, well, okay, fine. Jeez, I'll, I forget all Mackley goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> that look in your eye. It's like a salmon swimming upstream. Not giving a fuck about statistical impossibilities. Alright, I'll show huh. you what's in here. Follow me. Uh, okay. It's the shop I want. And it's a gambling den. Hmm? Whoa. <laughs> what you see here is a gambling hall where in Jinjo's most reckless vagrants come off to blow steam, not to mention cash. Best part is, the long dick of the law. God damn auto cycle! If you got the money to blah 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 blah. No idea this place was just hiding in plain sight. Well, I'm here, so I might as well enjoy it. Also, I couldn't get here unless my stats were high enough, because you need to have... Uh, I th think it's charisma and something else. And one of the, I thought there was a shop down here. I might have been wrong. He's like here somewhere, I think. I might be thinking of something else completely, but we'll deal with you guys later. Damn, okay, the shop's not either here yet, or I'm thinking of something else. Or I'm thinking of another Yakuza game, which wouldn't shock me in the least. Kume, I see your van from here. Oh no, we got the fat so's coming. No. Wow, this is awkward. Um, Let's go. Fight. Try this. We're completely legit yeah. people, just ignore the gunfire. That's a really good guitar. What a meaty press. Beautiful. Okay. Alright. All yours. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. 
Yep. There he is. At it again. Don't let him escape. Don't let his staff see us coming. <laughs> I'll get in the front of the media to make sh make him shake my hand. He'll have no way to avoid Listen. me that way. But then what? I'll suggest we make amends by yesterday and pull him into the van. Then I've won. Well, be careful. Looks like they got more eyes than we thought. And you guys are desperate to keep them away from us. Hey. You sure you want to do this? This guy's a candidate, just like Kume. If you raise a hand against him, don't you think he'll damage Kume's reputation? <laughs> <laughs> Bad news for you. We ain't part of Kume's campaign, and we don't live in Kanagawa. Try all you want. None's gonna trace us back to Kume. Wow. You guys thought this through. Hey. Let's not stand here admiring them. If you don't hurry, Kume's gonna get away again. Huh? What's the rush? Your campaign's going down in flames, because you'll be dead. Yeah, everyone has to die. You die, he die, she die. Get to move it. Not a loser. All right, I got the bat of electricity. Well. But first, take this. Such a good attack. Yeah, bring it on. All right, let's do let's ice go. spreader right let's there. Just gonna stand there. Damn, I only got the one. Oh, wait. Wait for it, wait for it. Damn it, I did too late. Oh, wait, that's a really good... Stay there. Oh, that's a really good damage. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Watch me. Finish him off. He's not finished off, which is a shame. Let's actually finish him off. Ooh. Oh no. Bring it on. Yeah. We're doing this, eh? Okay. They're not weak to that. They're not weak to that. Pepper and blow, not. No, it's pepper and blow them. That's a pepper. They're low health. I'm not gonna worry about him though. We'll do. Damn. Let's go. No, no. Yeah. Almost. One fight, you can win. Right. Okay, we got, got it. Oh, damn it. I thought I could. Oh, okay, we're good. Nice. Sweet. Essence of Deadly Beast and your wackiest dreams. I'll take it. I'm getting <laughs> nice. Kume still hasn't noticed us. Hmm. <laughs> Moragu? Your support means everything. Moragu. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo! <laughs> it's Kasuka! The other candidate, Ichiba Kasuga, is here! Get cameras on him! There might be another debate! Kasuga! Will you continue yesterday's debate? No, I think Kume-san took enough damage yesterday. I actually came to make peace with him. <laughs> Why would we ever make peace? Hey, it's hard to talk in front of all these cameras, you know? Wanna talk in private? That'll be way better. Let's just hop into your van here. Nice ride, by the way. Okay, okay, give him some space. Kasuga-san. 
Yeah? Chairman Hoshino's life is in danger. Huh? The Komijul got an anonymous tip that the Serio clan is going to be attacked. Chairman Hoshino is the target. And Song Hui said there's something suspicious happening at the Serio clan. The chairman? Why him? I think we need to put a hold on the Kume and Aoki mission. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> What? Hey, are we done with Kume already? Something's going down. It's urgent. The Siri plan. All right. Put two to two together, and you might know who Alki wants dead in 24 hours. Immediately saving. Wait, it's our health at. Oh, we're fine. Alright, hurry up. Right. Oh, of course, we get jumped as soon as we get in front of it. The pimp master. Alright, let's uh, not waste too much MP. Alright, I defeated the Pimp Master. Uh, let's actually try Ice Spreader about right there. You're the foot, that's what I wanted. You finish him off, and I'll finish the other guy off. Good job, that went well. Okay, back. The only one that used MP was Namba, and he can easily get back. Well, they're all alive. Captain Takabe! Kasuga. You shot! It was the Omi Alliance. About ten of them. One had a gun. They're looking for the Patriarch. They're going to kill him. His office is a ways up from here, right? Yes. Hurry. Please. Finally, you make your entrance. The Omi Alliance. Where's the chairman? Huh. Give the boys a sec. They're still cleaning up. What's that mean? Don't fuck with me, you assholes! Shall we? Well, you know what's happening here. Take this. Okay. You're in. Ice spreader. Popping and the desire. Just to keep my HP up. Because I know what comes after this. Uh, actually, yeah, this is good. This is good right here. Oh, uh, it'd be good if I actually hit Y. Ultra detergent? Oh. Watch me. Let's get rid of you. No, I no breath. Bring it on. Um, I can... no, I don't. No. What do we have? Weak. All right. Finish him. Alright. Ooh, perfect. Move out of our way. Bring it on. That's 
Ooh, Candle Rush, which is a really good one. job I sent you on. The smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? This will be the end of the Eugene Three. He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported Eugene Cho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Ichiban! Ichiban! <laughs> Forget it. You know how important it is to the young master that he wins this district, but you got in his way. A felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat. He doesn't like being defied. Especially not by the likes of you. Sounds to me like you're scared I could win. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not in a million years. Why else would you need to kill Chairman Hoshino? You know him. He doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The e Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. What the fuck is his problem? What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! <laughs> is Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> Sour Zero! Round two. <laughs> This time, he is not holding anything back. This battle is... Yep. something to worry about be here last time didn't you yeah but it was probably just luck either that or he wasn't really trying and you don't know captain sawashiro like i do holding a weapon really amps him up 
Uh, so this is gonna be a tough fight any way you slice it. For sure. I mean, he's a captain under Arakawa the Assassin. So everyone be careful. Got it. Watch me. Alright. You wanna fight? I got this. Take this. It does suck. Everything he does gets someone killed that he cares about. Okay. The only reason why they killed him is because, well... It's because he's still running the campaign trail and they can't kill him because there's too many eyes on him. You're important. serious. Oh, I forgot to have that. You can win. Check this out. You're gonna win this shit. Get serious. You're in it now. Oh, begging for mercy that now. Sucks. One second. Oh dear. I got this. I can give him French fries. <laughs> That's the first time I actually, uh, man. Alright. He's back. Alright, immediately. Oh, defense. I'm over here. That's picking time. Yeah? You want to want? Come on now. Uh oh. Come on. <laughs> no, he's not paralyzed. I can make him paralyzed. Maybe. Don't move. He's weak to electricity, which is really good. Okay. Vanquish a pan. He's not stunned. Let's lower his accuracy if there's a chance. Uh oh, Namba, you're in trouble. Uh oh, that's not good. You're in for it now. You wanna fight? Oh, yep, okay, it does count as a status. I am so sorry, Zhao. That is on me. Man, I thought I over leveled. Nope. I'll show you a fight. You think you can win? Take this. I got this. Do it. This is the worst. That's better. Oh, he wants me. That all you got. Oh, yes. Son. You know what? I have some fat stacks. You're in it now. Just go. Oh, that's some good damage. Uh oh. Phase two. based on a western martial art. Since when do you know martial arts, dude? Since always. The reason I fought with an umbrella was because I got the idea from an old martial arts book. And is the captain using the same fighting style right now? Yeah. Actually, watching him is really teaching me a lot that I didn't understand in the book. Damn. How many different martial arts does the captain know? Well, I think we're about to find out. <sighs> Makes me feel like a wimp. Uh oh. Plan here. Eyes on me. 
I got this. I should have brought an idol in. You're in for it now. You're weak. Come Damn, on. I was really hoping I had something. All right. I mean, I do have something. Mm -hmm. I was hoping I had something that recovers HP for all allies, mm -hmm. but I'll live. All right, Zhao, use this on yourself. Good to go. I'll make it work. Once again, you do the same thing. I could give you just gonna just drink the regular. I'll patch up. I'll show you. I got this. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, if I can stun him, I can get some decent, you know, stuff off. Nope. This is gonna hurt. I could... No. Oh wait, I have these two? Oh. Just heal. Alright, immediately, what do I have that heals dizzy? Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Dizzy, 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 dizzy. I mean, uh, physical. Uh, does that count as mental? Maybe. You're in it now. Here, finally having the kimchi. There's something about this. All right. I got this. You want to fight? Let's see. You're in it now. Damn it. My healer. Sarshiro. Be great. He lowers attack. No. Yes. Immediately. Bring it back. Get serious. Not to protect those you love. You are hurt. You're in it now. You just eat something luxury bento. Perfect. All right. We're in. God sucks. That's kicking time. Check this out. No begging for mercy now. That's better. I'll get out of here. Come on. You want to fight? Cheap shot, poison shot. You know, let's see if I can poison him. No. Damn it. I can't block it. Alright, immediately use a recovery item on Nanba. Now it's my turn. I want to do this again. Got it, finally. Alright. We're gonna... Just Crescent Slash. Alright, we're gonna immediately get some MP back. For you, because I gotta feel more neat later. Alright, just drink a regular toner for 200. We're not getting any more than that. 
of you. Cobble together mess that greatly stores an ally's yeah. HP. Oh in, well, man. um do it to him. Watch this. I got you. Thank you. Let's get it done. Um check this out. Phase three. I'm shocked it kicks our butt so much with just a wooden cane. I'll kill you. There's something odd about this. Uh, yeah, not like there was anything normal about this to begin with. Man, this guy is savage as hell. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops. You've got to stay on your toes, everyone. I got this. Oh. Okay, I did a decent job until I didn't. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna yeah. hold off on doing a couple of these things. I'm gonna make a secret cocktail and... Oh, okay, I, I'm all good. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do Endless Desire. I'm gonna keep that up. I'm gonna replenish it. He has the voltage, but I'm just trying to. Alright, we're good there. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do rapid shot. A gift for you. Right. Now I'm healing. Cool. All right. I am actually going to. Who, who's going that? He's going next. Bring okay. That's a problem because I think he's gonna aim for me. Because he hates my guts. He's going to aim for me. You're weak. Hot back. Good. Now we're talking. All right. All right. All right. All right. Healing bolus on him. With this. Little first aid. You can win. Thank you. Alright. Wait. Yep, do this. Your voltage is max. Platinum. It's a, wait. You're in for it. Oh god, that's not happening. Um, honestly, sparkling splash. It's booze time. Yeah. And now, I think it's time. Yeah. Time to call a friend. I summon you. of the forefathers. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Ooh, Yakuza training gear. Moving up in the world. It, it gives debuffs you quite a bit, but increases the XP you gain. I did it! That one's so cool. <laughs> Look at me go! Alright, time for a lot of play. <sighs> <laughs> K 
Captain. What the hell have you become? The Soashiro I knew would never just blindly follow orders. Not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. My life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain. And just so you know, I didn't kill Arakawa-san. Huh. I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me! He did order me to. What? But that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. I couldn't kill Masumi Arakawa. I can't explain it, but... Even as low as I've fallen, that was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Well, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? <laughs> no. That wasn't it. No? The real reason was... And I've never told this to anyone. Not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Just listen. The first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway, we shacked up and played house even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom. All on her own. I was working at the time. Laying asphalt, as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... We're going to hell, aren't we? I know it. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? It's chilly out. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm going back. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. Stop! We took care of it! Let me go! 
Fuck. Man, you were dick as a kid when you were dick as an adult. What? Damn it! Open your place of shit! Open! That's the locker. We. Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to, right? This... This is my child. Well... This might work out. Huh? Yeah. And yeah, that guy will look after him. I don't understand. This is a gift, right? It's for the best. Really. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh, damn it! So that's the thing, Whoa. is he Whoa. has Sarshiro's son in his hands, so that means Masato is Sarshiro's son. So, where's Arakawa's kid, if he was also so in the So, Arakawa-san took your baby? That means... Shit! That baby was... Masato Arakawa. The young master. No wonder why he's such a dick. He took it after master. you. Is your son? The boss told you about that night, didn't he? New Year's Eve. His woman was being chased by the Hikawa family. They decided to hand off the baby using a locker. <sighs> How could they have known that there would be another baby in the same row of lockers? What were the chances? So you see how it happened? Arakawa followed the sound of a baby's cries and pried open the locker. But then what happened to Arakawa's baby? Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamurocho. With my son. I... Is that... Huh? That kid... I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age. So he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hypothermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masato. Why me? Why am I the only one who can't walk? Everyone else can. It's not fair. I heard those words. And I swear they echoed in my head for months. Even if I'd never had a son, the Yakuza path was my fate. It always had been. I've been living my life half-assed for so long. Are you sure you want this? There's no turning back once you've sworn an oath. I'm sure. But suddenly I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masumi Arakawa. Okay. Then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. I get it now. I get why you swore loyalty to Arakawa. It wasn't because he was the legendary Arakawa the Assassin. That's what drew everyone else to Arakawa. But you, 
swore your oath to be near the young master. Does he know any of this? I told you, this is a secret I've never told anyone before. Honestly, I thought I would take it to my grave. But then why did you tell me? Because there's something I want to ask you. Me? Okay, shoot. Didn't you notice there's one crucial detail missing from that locker story? There's one baby crucial missing. Crucial detail? Use your head. If Arakawa-san took my son out of the locker, then where is his real son? Uh, yeah, good point. The boss said his woman's name was Akane. And before he met her, she'd been working at a soap land called Shangri-La. Shangri-La? Seriously? That's where I was born. Yes. So take this next part with a grain of salt. But here's my theory. On that night, New Year's Eve, Akane called Arakawa-san to tell him she was being hunted. She knew they'd find her at the maternity ward, so she left. But as soon as she did, she went into labor. She desperately needed to find a place to have her baby, where she wouldn't be found. So I think she may have gone to her old workplace, Shangri-La. And, as you just said, that's where you were born, correct? But that... You're making it sound like I... It can't be. After the boss took the young master out of the locker, I saw another baby. You did? Mom! Mom! <laughs> Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. I have to admit I felt relieved. But... I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying. But why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery. It gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer. Boss, is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked. Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. <sighs> He's not here. Oh! Gotcha! Boss! Over here! I found him! You sure it's him? Wait. No. If he's still here... That can only mean the handoff didn't go as planned. Another baby? What should we do? Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while. In case Akane comes back for it. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized... The other man had taken the wrong baby. Ichi was our son all along. He took the wrong baby. <laughs> and the key was in the lock. After putting you in the locker, Akane-san kept running. Right up until the Hikawa family caught her. I think that while she was on the run, she told someone she could trust about her baby in the locker, just in case. I didn't recognize the two people that came to pick up the other baby. 
But if one of them was Jiro Kasuga, your foster father, owner of that soap land, then you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Sh shut up, man. There's no way. But isn't there? A DNA test would be a simple way to find out. Without a test, you'll never know for sure. <gasps> or if you think I'm talking out of my ass, just walk away. Forget I told you. Hell no. I love how you think I'm going to just yeah, let about you to walk say. away after you killed the Sarah. We're having the heart to heart after he just shot the chairman. To me. I had no future then. I have no future now. Why not? Ryoaki told me to kill Arakawa, and I refused. He clearly already decided I was disposable when he gave me this hit. Take out a chairman. Aoki wasn't expecting me to come out of this alive. All I am to him now is a third-rate hitman. My success or failure hardly matters. But then... I need you to answer me, Captain. If you didn't kill Arakawa-san, who did? I don't know for sure. But maybe Lieutenant Ishioda. He's the young master's favorite peon now, since Arakawa-san is dead. Arakawa-san's death is on Ishioda, then. Sawashiro, I still can't let you walk away. As much as I'd like to kill you myself, you need to pay for your sins the legit way. Pay for my sins the legit way? <laughs> That's not the way I've led my life. So two locker babies in that fateful night. One was his child taken by Arakawa, and the other one was taken by the Soapland, who was Arakawa's real son. I can only imagine the scenario if they both were picked up by the right parent or person, how different everything would be. Also, that would explain a little bit... That would also explain why Ichi's a bit special in the head, too. What's up? I found out who gave us the tip about Chairman Hoshino being in danger. It was Sawashiro himself. What the hell? Why would he give himself away? To venture a guess, I don't think Sawashiro actually wanted to kill the chairman. What? I believe he was hoping you would stop him, Kasuga-san. Like always, you're too low. <sighs> but he couldn't say that outright, because it would have been betraying Aoki. So instead, he leaked his plan to kill Chairman Hoshino, and left his fate in your hands. But that means we failed. We didn't stop him. You always made such impossible demands of me, Captain. God damn it! I forgot how fast this chapter is compared to others. But yeah, that one is a big plot dump. A very important plot dump. Ryo Aoki is the son of Shawashiro and his girl, who he left five years later. Man, these ladies are tough. They can just push out baby and immediately just go. And Arakawa and, uh, and his girl also had a baby, and 
They stuck him in locker 100, and the young master was put in locker 99. Arakawa broke a locker 99, hearing a baby sob, thinking that was his. Meanwhile, Ichi was taken away by the soap land owner. Yeah. Well, after all these lore dumps, I think you're tired of seeing the save screen. I guess it's time to call it. I'll see you later. And have a good night.